Condensation, precipitation, evaporation, you know all the words. For many of our students, these plants all need water. They really need to experience it <laughs> to learn it. You're going to become a drop and you're going to go through the whole water cycle. It's a perfect environment for um, really underscoring what we've taught in the classroom. Today we have fourth graders here to learn about pond study and the water cycle. Just go right out to the dock now. Oh, I found something. It's our first catch of the day. Other than just seeing pictures of the creatures that live in the pond, they get to see the actual creature. You caught something? And they remember it that way. Check out the water scorpion. It kind of wiggles. There are three microscopes. Oh, look at a slug thing. Oh, I see it. It's really important for our students to um, come to Wargo because this. it gives them um, the hands-on experience that we can't always deliver in the classroom. They they also get to play a game Got him. where they get to become creatures that live in the pond. Marie is an oil spill. <laughs> then we introduce an environmental stressor, which is another student. Get him, Marie! So you survived and you survived. I died. So eventually it'll kill everything. We talk about wetlands, we talk about the water cycle. It's raining all over the county. And many times it doesn't sink in until they actually get to a place where um, there's, you know, the examples, there's the real life environment. So what we're gonna try to do here is make a cloud. And it fits very well with our science curriculum. It seems to just you know, underscore everything we do. It just gets them into a new environment. It stimulates their other senses. So they're more awake, they're more alert, they're more receptive to what we have to say. We've tried quite a few other field trips and this seems to be um, packed with the most learning, the most fun, and um, it takes you know, the kids to a level of learning that is deeper than we can do in the classroom.